on, Jungle Friends. You know, someone asked me the other day, Mr. Wara, why do you call us Jungle Friends? You know, and I have to be honest with you, I think that came from a movie, yes, with good old Jim Carrey called The Pet Detective. And he's like, come here, my Jungle Friends. And it must have just stuck in my brain. Anywho, it's math time. Yeah! Welcome to Lesson 10.7. I'm so excited. I'm always super excited before the math video starts because I know I have a whole, well, 15 minutes of math. Yeah. Woo! And look at our topic. Elapsed time. Ooh, elapsed. That's a good word. What does elapsed mean? Time that has passed, right? We think of elapsed time as the amount of time that has gone by. Our essential question, our learning target. This is our focus our purpose. That's right. How can you solve elapsed time problems by converting units of time? Yeah, I like it. I do. And of course, we need to unlock the problem. That's right, my friends. This is real world, baby. Real world. Real world. It's a real world problem. Here we go. A computer company claims its laptop has a battery that lasts four hours. <laughs> Not on my laptop. The laptop actually ran for 200 minutes before the battery ran out. Hmm, interesting. Did the battery last four hours? How fascinating. So we're going to be converting units of time. Nice. We have one hour equals how many minutes? I don't have to think too hard for this one, nor do you. That's the 60 minutes. That's right. 60 minutes, small friends. 60 minutes, it says. It says think. The minute hand moves from one number to the next in five minutes. And that is so true. Because we look at our clock, we can see that here, there's five, 10, 15. So 15 minutes in one quarter hour. All right. And then we just keep on going. 15, another 15, another 15. There you go. We have 15 minutes times four, which equals 60. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Now, that's a pretty cool laptop there, I must say, too. Very nice. Okay, I guess we need to move on for the little graphic organizer. It says convert 200 minutes to hours and minutes. Okay, step one, convert minutes into hours and minutes. All right, well, we're going to take our 200 minutes, which is equal to, well, I'm not giving us any clue about how many hours that really equals. We don't know that yet, do we? I don't think so. However, if I went over here first and put my 200 minutes, I'm wondering if this is more helpful. 200 minutes, right, we're going to divide because we are going from a larger, I'm sorry, a smaller unit of measure of time. We're going to divide by 60 because there are 60 minutes in one hour. Well, 200 divided by 60, I think I would just go 60 times 3, 180. That's going to fall right under that with 20 minutes left over. That's a little remainder, I guess. Okay, 3 hours. In 20 minutes. So then over here, I guess I'm coming back. It seems like I'm doing this in reverse, but here we would have three hours and 20 minutes. Very good. Cool. That was easy. That was step one. Oh, step two, we need to compare. Okay. Right, less than, greater than, or equal to. We would have, that was our numbers up there, right? Three hours and 20 minutes. How does that compare to four hours? <laughs> you should be able to tell right away. Yeah, that's less than. Less than, dun, dun, dun. and since three hours and 20 minutes is less than, well, I get to write the words. How exciting. Four hours, the battery did not, it did not, did not last as long as the computer company claims. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah, they come up with these claims, you know. And then it doesn't really do what it says it's supposed to do. I just know that as computers, you probably know as well as I, that when they get older, the battery tends to, you know, not be able to deal with it anymore. Soon you get to the point where it doesn't work unless you have it plugged in, right? So anyway, try this. Convert to mixed measures. Okay. Oh, cool. Look at our table over here. Wow. Look at here. Our table says, yeah, it says... 60 seconds is equal to one minute. 60 minutes equals one hour. Woo, it's 24 hours in one day, seven days in a week, 52 weeks in a year, and then 12 months in one year, 365 days in one year. Okay, these are all basic units of time. Well, let's look at our problem here. It does say Jill spent much of her summer away from home. She spent 10 days with her grandparents, nine days with her cousins, and 22 days at camp. 
How many weeks and days was she away from home? Great question. Step one. Well, first it says find the total number of days away. Well, we have 10 days. There's the listed. We have nine days. And we have 22 days, which we can add all those together. And let's see, 22 and 10 is 32 plus nine. That's 41, wouldn't you say? I think so. So that's 41 days. Step two says convert the days into weeks and days. Okay. So we know that we can divide it by seven because there's seven days in one week. So if we took the 47 days then and divided that by seven, oof, we almost have six weeks, but not quite. But we would have five weeks, okay, which that would be 35, leaving us with, yeah, six days left over. And so Jill was away from home for five weeks and six days. Okay, and we, again, we just, we got that information from our chart. Our seven represented the number of days in one week. In case I went over that kind of quickly, that's all we did. We went from, again, a smaller unit to a larger unit because days is smaller unit of time than a week. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, page master. Yeah. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> What's up? What you got? The, you got the, like the cool shades now. Oh boy, Miss Unicorn trying to be all hip now. And you're in our video again. You know, no feature animal I think has appeared in our videos more than you have there, Miss Unicorn. Oh, I see. I get it. Okay. Yeah, we know you're special. But really, the sunglasses. I don't know. And look what you're doing. You're like you're blocking. You're blocking the girl on the computer. Move out. Of, let me shrink you down. My goodness, you really just... Yeah, there you go. Can't even hardly see her. We'll make you really small. Look it, it's a mini unicorn. Mini. Let's move on, Mr. Wara. Let's get focused. Okay. All righty then. So we have one way. Let's use a number line to find elapsed time. Monica spent two and a half hours working on her computer. If she started working at 10.30 a.m., what time did Monica stop working? So looking at a number line. So we're going to go ahead and say then that's 1030. If we go one hour plus one, there we go. And then, of course, we're going to add on another hour here because, right, because 1130, 1030, 1130, we had two and a half hours right up here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put 1230, and that's going to be another plus one. And now we only have a half hour left. So that's going to take us this this little partial way here, if you will, come to right here. And that's going to be your one half. And of course, that would make that one o'clock. Of course, that's p.m. You know, we started in the morning. Now we've gone over midday, which is 12 o'clock. Think one half hour equal to 30 minutes. OK, that does say another way. Use a clock to find elapsed time. Yeah, that's what this visual helps because you can see just 1030, 1130, 1230, one. You can see it pass. So she's going to stop working at 1 p.m. Kind of the same thing we just did above there. One with a number line, the other one with an actual clock. Let's go. Now it says, try this. Find a start time. Okay, Robert's soccer team needs to be off the soccer field by 12.15 p.m. Each game is, at most, one and three-quarter hours long. What time should the game begin to be sure that the team finishes on time? Now that's a really good question because this is asking something a little bit different. This isn't just that we have a start time. No, we don't have that. All we have is the most, the maximum time that they're going to be playing soccer. But he has to be off the soccer field by 12.15. So it's giving us the ending time. It's not giving us the beginning time. So let's see, what do we have here? One quarter hour is equal to 15 minutes. So three quarters hour is going to be equal to 45 minutes. Okay. So now it says step one, subtract the minutes first. Okay. So 45 minutes earlier is going to be, well, if you have 12, 15 p.m., if we're going back in time, which means this, the clock now is going to be moving. That's right. We say counterclockwise. When the clock is moving in this direction, counterclockwise and clockwise because the clock normally moves in the other direction. So if we go 45 minutes, remember that's a quarter hour. You guys grew up with a digital clock, but these are minutes and this is considered a quarter hour here. If you didn't know that in every quarter hour and there's four quarters in one hour is 15 minutes. So this way it give you 15, 30, 45. And they highlighted down here the six showing you that 45 minutes earlier is going to be 1130 a.m. Okay, and it makes sense because that is before 12.15 p.m. Now, step two says, then subtract the hour. So we subtract the minutes. Now we need to subtract the hour. And we're just subtracting 
yeah, we're just subtracting one hour because we had three quarters hour we figured out. So one hour. So if we had 11.30 here, one hour earlier, that's really easy. Barely have to look at the clock. And we know that that's going to be 10.30 a.m. And of course, I mean, so the game should begin at 10.30 a.m. Yeah. Woohoo! What happened there? Time for the eraser. Erasing. Here we go. There. Anything we should know down here? Math talk, mathematical practices. Explain how you could convert three hours, 45 minutes, two minutes. All right, they're using a different problem, but it's basically the same thing because we already had the minutes, which is 45 minutes, and I'm just going to write that right here. 45 minutes, M-I-N period. And so I'm just having to convert the three hours. And since we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour, that's just going to be three times your 60, which is 180. So we're going to have 180 minutes plus our 45 minutes, which equals, yeah, do this in my head, 225 minutes, M-I-N period. There you go. Woohoo! Yeah! Mm -hmm. I do reckon, oh, is that the music? Oh, man, the, mini the video's already come to an end. No! I guess it has, my friends. Well, it's been fun. It's been and real. Yeah, and you know, it's been like really, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, what's this? Oh, yeah, oh, you're kidding me. Really? <laughs> like one of you was not enough? You what? What? Oh, you made clones of yourself? Oh, my goodness. Tell me she's not in love with herself a little bit here. Okay, this is too much. Like one of you was not enough? Okay, hey, I'm not going to give you a hard time. Blink. Magical stuff, all you want. Anyway, um, oh, well, that's well, at least she said. She said she did say subscribe. Okay. So hey, if you love these videos, my friends, hey, like it. You know, and be part of the team. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Okay, my friends. Live long and prosper.